to the one that matters. And the 2022 or the 2023 NCAA tournament, the 2022-2023 season, uh, will now culminate with the NCAA tournament. And Texas A&M, Corpus Christi, the Islanders, and Southeast Missouri State will play the first NCAA tournament game in the first four in Dayton. Corpus Christi is favored by four on the neutral floor. The total is 156 in this one. Both of these teams won wild conference championship games to get the automatic bid and get into the first four. The winner will get Alabama. Hello. Uh, Corby Craig, begin the conversation. Neutral floor, Dayton, Ohio. First four game, Texas A&M, Corpus Christi, SEMO State, Southeast Missouri State. Yeah, SEMO would be my lean, even though it seems I'm probably wrong on that. I think this has gotten steamed up at this point. SEMO, early in the year, looked like a pretty efficient team. They like to play a lot of pace. So this this 156 seems to play into their favor. Uh, I will be the first one to say I don't know a ton about Corpus Christi, but SEMO is seventh in the nation in tempo. Uh, we have seen their offensive numbers drop off. The rebounding is kind of scary. But at the end of the day, they've been able to force their will against a lot of good teams. They beat Moorhead. 65-58 in a game that was not played in their in their favor. They want to run tempo, and that game was played to 64 possessions. So an ugly start to the year. You saw, what, eight losses in a row, an ugly end of the year, and then they clean up during the tournament. So I, I think you see a CMO team that really is as unpredictable as it can come um, and an, on a neutral court with this tempo, assuming that they're going to be able to play their style of basketball. Four points seems good. But the issue with me is like four points into a total of 156. What does those four points actually matter um, so I, I worry about that. But other than that, I think that Southeast Missouri State would be my lean getting four. Uh, I would really like to get five or six, though. So I laid off this in general. All right. You mentioned uh, Texas A&M Corpus Christi. How much do we know about the Islanders? Travion Tennyson, thank you very much, is their leading scorer. They were the regular season champions in the Southland Conference, and they had to come from behind. They were down 15 in the first half of the title game against Northwestern State of Louisiana. Came from behind, won it. That's why they're here on the automatic bid. Matty Cox, a thought real quick, even if not an official play, on a first four game, Southeast Missouri State, Texas A&M, Corpus Christi. Again, the winner slots in as the 16 seed to play Alabama in the South Regional. Yeah, good luck to whoever wins this game um, in that next one. But for this uh, you know, opener play in, I tend to like SEMO, and the reason is the injury to Terry and Murdix, who will be out tonight. Um, he got injured in the final, uh, the Southland Conference Championship against Northwestern State. He's absolutely paramount to this team. I mean, point guard makes a lot happen. Um, you know, this team has some offensive talent, but obviously it's a team in the Southland. There's not a ton of uh, prolific scoring options, guys that can create buckets out of nothing. Uh, the neutralizer to that, though, is Steve Lutz, head coach for the Islanders, former Matt Painter assistant. He's terrific. There's a reason why he has, um, you know, come out of the Southland two straight years. Uh, he's done a lot with not a lot. Um, however, I do think from a pure talent perspective, SEMO has them outclassed. Uh, I think Brad Corn's a very good coach on the other side as well. Uh, I'm going to take the plus four with SEMO. Um, I think that's too many points for a team missing a pretty critical piece, even with the fact that they have the uh, familiarity edge of playing in this last year. All right, and forgive me, I was not sure on our stuff, and I should have checked with you, so that's going to be an official play plus the four with Southeast Missouri State, correct, Matty Cox, uh, for an official uh, play on the show? I don't think I have it as an official play. That's a, just a lean for me. I'm you sorry. You know what? We, we're going to do this. Fault. We'll just we'll do the lean. I'm I'll sorry. do the official uh, cup raise here. We'll raise a glass to here, Southeast here. Missouri State. Here, here. The we'll Hawks. take them. Uh, we'll, go, we'll go with them. Uh, look, plus the four. If you want, even if you won't see it uh, officially on the screen. Philip Russell is their leading scorer at 18 points and five assists per game. And good information there on the leading assist guy for Corpus Christi that is hurt. Again, Southeast Missouri State won the crazy, controversial end to the Ohio Valley Conference Tournament Championship game. Guys, this was the tournament where Tennessee Tech thought they had won on the length of the floor shot for it to be a three-point shot to win by one. Upon review, after they're celebrating and running around everywhere, no, no, it's a two not a three. We go to overtime, and Southeast Missouri State takes it from them in the overtime to get into the NCAA tournament. Now they are slotted here in this uh, matchup in the first four. 
coming here on Tuesday night in Dayton. That's the first official game of 67 of them in the tournament. Uh, Kevin, why don't we do this? If you can put the South bracket up on the screen, put the uh, the South regional and the 16 teams. Look at Kevin. He's all over it. Uh, you see so up at the top where Alabama is as the one seed. That's where Corpus Christi or SEMO, Southeast Missouri State, will plug into this tournament coming up on Thursday and you see the rest of the South bracket that we'll make reference to, but there you go. That's where the winner of this game is headed. Good luck with the Crimson Tide. Yeah, there you go. There you go on that. All right. So there's the South bracket and how it looks. All right.